Today, in our literacy lesson, we are going to work on expanding our sentences. That means improving our sentences with two or three different extra words that can make them a bit longer and a bit more detailed. So, pause the video while you write the date and the learning objective. We're ready to write. We have our plan and we are going to practice using different ways to extend our sentences. You will need to look at the pictures you drew yesterday of your day as an explorer. You will also be able to use some of the descriptive vocabulary that you wrote around that picture. So hopefully you can flip back to that page in your book and have a look at it. Remember to use the useful work you've already done. So here was my picture from yesterday. And I've got lots of vocabulary around the edge that I'm going to try and use in my sentences today. But I'm also going to try and make them extended sentences and use the, the new features that we're talking about as well. Here are some examples of work that other children did yesterday. You can see that not everybody has chosen to do a jungle adventure like myself. Some people are exploring under the sea. Really exciting. And I can see they can see an octopus. Maybe they're exploring in a cave. Mm. And there's another one here. Someone's going down a waterfall. So we're going to have some really exciting explorer's diaries written on Thursday. So let's start. As always, mine is the example, but you can use it to help you write your own, whatever you've decided to go as an explorer. This is our first bit today. Our first trick that we are going to use to add detail is to use the word and or but. We can add detail to our sentences by using simple joining words, and or but. So, I looked at my picture and I thought about what I could write. And I wanted to use the word and in one of my sentences and but in another. So, I looked at my picture and I've got a twisted vine and the trow and trees. So, I put both of those ideas into one sentence. Here it is in blue. I climbed down the twisted vine and looked around me above towering trees. OK, I've used and, I've put two ideas in one sentence. That makes it more of a detailed, expanded sentence. For sentence number two, I've had a look at some other things. And I, I've looked at my rocky cliff and I thought about using the word but. I was scared to climb over the rocky cliff, but there was no other way down. Hmm. So those two sentences match up with my picture. I've used some words from around my picture. And then I've included the words and or but. Pause the video now, write two sentences about your jungle and try and use one sentence using and and one sentence using but. Take as long as you need. You might need to really think about this carefully. Remember to look back at your pictures for ideas. Now our next sentence is. For these sentences, we're going to add some detail using adverbs of time. When we looked at the example explorer's log at the beginning of the week, the one where you underline some of the words, they started each of the paragraphs in the example explorer's log with fronted adverbials. You might know these as when words. They're often at the beginning of sentences, which is why they're called fronted adverbials, because they go at the start of a sentence. You can see these words in red. They are first, next, after that, then, afterwards, after a while, finally, and when. They're words you're familiar with, but we're going to use them in this piece of writing, and we're going to practice using them today at the start of some sentences. So, I looked back at my picture, and I thought, which word could I use, and where could I use it? Hmm. I decided to use the word first. What did my character have to do first? Well, first, I had to descend down into the wide open mouth of the cave. That's my sentence. I've used the wide open mouth of the cave and I've used a red word. Now I looked again. I decided to use after that. And it says, after that, I looked around the cave and observed the deadly insects scuttling into the shadows. So I've used the part about deadly insects over here and I used the part about scuttling over there. I've still got lots of other ideas to use but they're two really good sentences that are going to be ready for my writing tomorrow. Now it's your turn. Pause the video 
and write two sentences about your jungle or your desert or your under the water adventure, but add detail using two of the words in red. So choose, there's lots of red words, you can choose from first, next, after that, then, afterwards, after a while, finally or when. You don't have to use all of them today, just think about two. Tomorrow you might want to use some more. Pause the video until you've done that. Remember it might take you a while to think of them, but keep trying, even if it's a bit tricky. Okay, the next way we're going to add detail is using the word because. If we use the word because, it explains what we were doing and it gives us a chance to expand our sentence and give a reason at the end. So I've got some, still got some things on my, on my picture I haven't written about yet. So I tried to put those in here so that I didn't repeat myself with the sentences before because I can't say the same thing again and again. So I didn't write about the insects. So I thought I'd put that in and I hadn't used the word brightly coloured. So in my sentence I wrote, I decided to leave the brightly coloured insects alone because they may have been poisonous. And that's the reason. Number two, I attempted to light a torch because the cave was so dark and gloomy. Can you see where I got my idea from? Yesterday I wrote dark and gloomy and today I've used it in my sentence with the word because. Have a look at your pictures. See if there's something you've not written about yet. Try and write about something different to the sentences that you've written before. Pause the video and write two sentences about your jungle or your desert or your underwater adventure, but add detail to your sentences using because. As before, keep thinking about it. Even if you can't think of an idea at first, keep trying. You might not have anything in your head when you first start to think about it, but looking at your picture will help you. Pause the video until you've written your sentences. Now you've completed at least six sentences, you can take a photo and add it to your portfolio. These are going to be very useful for your work tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to change our sentences into paragraphs and we will write four paragraphs. One paragraph for each picture. I'm looking forward to seeing your work. Thank you, Year 3.